Yo guys and welcome to yet another video on my channel. Today hopping into yet another rush base build. Today's rush base build is going to be a solo bunker base. Also it doesn't have to be a bunker if you don't want it to be and I'll show you how to do that in the future. But now I basically wanted to make a base that could be made into a bunker obviously as I've just said or made so it basically is a bunker with a sheet door that's removable so you can still get downstairs and with the sheet door you can still use a level 2 workbench upstairs. So obviously you've got your bunkered loot and then your loot at the top which is obviously really easy to access. And makes the base just easy to go throughout and access everything you need to. Now the build cost of this base is 8,610 stones, 1,463 wood, with the upkeep cost being 205 metal frags and 1,135 stones. So obviously overall, as I always like my bases, really cheap, upkeep just non-existent basically one metal node and a few stone nodes and it's good to go now into the deployables there's 10 large boxes three furnaces a level two workbench and three small boxes there's also two sleeping bags down you don't need one of them down if you leave the sheet door on and you don't want to go down into the bunker necessarily you can actually take that away and put another large box down or more small boxes or furnaces but it's completely up to you but no guys i'm not going to waste any more of your time let's just get straight into the base build and i hope you guys enjoy it Now when building this base, you don't need a massive area to be able to build the base, but if you want to add loads of honeycomb into it in the future, then you do need quite a big area. However, the area without honeycombing and the way I build it, basically you only need a 2x2 two two, and that's about the area you need. Now right here, as you can see, I'm sealing off the front door and putting window frames in and a double door in. You don't have to do the front door this close to the base. You can add more doors. You can even have less doors if you want to, but it's completely your choice. It's just, I feel like this is a good place to stop off the base and you can still do enough honeycomb in to keep the base well defended and protected. Also when placing these furnaces, place two furnaces in the position where I do only if you're planning on making this a sheet door bunker and not a fully fledged bunker. Since the sheet door will open into the triangle where the third furnace is meant to be and you can uncode lock it and take the door off to get deeper into the base. Now when placing this level 2 workbench, make sure the double sheet door is already on so you can get a perfect placement for the level 2 workbench to be back as far as possible. Since when you're at the top, you'll be rotating the level 2 workbench and using it through the sheet door by your feet. And if it's not close enough, it will not be usable. And also if you want to make this into a fully sealed off bunker, you don't need to worry about the level 2 placement as much. Since the double door behind it, you can just take that away and put a four wall to completely block that off. The sheet door is there so you can open up the bunker by taking it off and coming in and then sealing it at night. But if you want it sealed up at all times, just put a stone wall there and forget about the double door. When placing this large box, make sure it's as far to the left as possible so you can loop it between the gap of the cupboard and the stairs since that's the only way you'll be able to access this box. Also with these two large boxes on top, make sure they're far forward on the triangle towards the center of the base because if they're not close enough, you won't be able to loop through the low wall which you're meant to be able to loop them through so obviously those boxes will be unreachable. Now when placing these two large boxes, make sure they're lootable from the ground floor in the bottom left by the level 2 workbench since you won't be able to loot them from the top floor. Also make sure they're far enough back since there will be a shelf above this shelf with more large boxes on and you'll be able to loot the top left one if you place them correctly. To know if you've placed the top boxes right, just put this furnace down, jump on it and try and loot all four boxes. If you can loot them all, then your base is good to go since these are going to be the boxes to obviously pass loot down into your bunker 
if you fully seal it off or if you've got the sheet door on and don't want to take it off. Now, obviously, this is where you use the level two workbench. If you're at the top side of the base and the sheet door is on, you just open the door, rotate it facing this way, and you can use the workbench. Also, as you can see, this is how you take the sheet door off by taking it through into this gap here. That's where the code lock will be, undoing the code lock, taking the code lock off and then taking the door off, moving the furnace, and then you can go downstairs and access the base fully, just like it wasn't there and it was a normal just route through the base. Now the final thing to do, just put your sleeping bag down upstairs. Obviously this would be more tempting to do or more needed to do if you've fully half all this off and not got a sheet doorway here. This bag isn't needed if you don't want it, but I'd recommend it. But once that's done, you can just go downstairs, put the sheet door on, code lock on, then your base is fully built, the bunk is created, and everything else is created that you need to have a fully functioning base. But now guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did enjoy the video, be sure to drop a like down below and subscribe if you need for more content on this channel. But guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Hope to see you in my future videos and peace out.